Hi everyone, how y'all doing? I'm Elvin and welcome back to another video from Watch Jelly. Um, so this is Singapore's Changi Airport is where my home is, my home country. Uh, I work overseas but I've been back for about uh, almost two months and I've enjoyed the fact that we are finally open. Uh, Singapore has is, is, uh, been an endemic for almost, uh, I would say, seven months now, eight months. And, uh, you know, look at the airport, it's hustling and bustling. So as travel starts to pick up, we'll see the world's number one airport coming back to life and in full force. So here today, I'm going to take you around Changi Airport to show you, for those of you transiting in Singapore or for those of you coming here for summer vacations, welcome. But at the same time, I know searching for watches can be a lot of what travels like to do, basically. And so... Uh, here is just uh, this video is here to save you some time and to show you what's available at Singapore, Ch Singapore's Changi Airport Terminal Three. So right at departure, there's actually a Rolex boutique that is not operated by one of Singapore's uh, a few companies, but this is uh, operated by a European AD. So I was here in mid June, and something surprising was in the sh in the boutique. Let me take you in. So I was just not I was just gonna walk in and yeah look at whatever they had, mostly for display purposes only. But I think the thing here that really, really surprised me was uh, the fact that they had a certain piece here that's just been newly released and you can see it right here now. It's the Sprite or the Green Lantern as I call it. So uh, the left-handed uh, new Rolex GMT Master in steel uh, with the green uh, ceramic bezel, the half green ceramic bezel. Uh, so it's a left-handed watch and uh, it's the first time I'm seeing it in the flesh uh, after being announced this year in uh, February. So I just asked to try it on. Uh, I couldn't take videos of the piece in my hand but uh, you know the, the staff was nice enough to let me film uh, the process. And so the shop, you know, typical. Um, it's very few pieces available for sale. Usually the full gold ladies date just. Uh, and, the usual sport, and the usual sports models are just for display only. So, um, I mean, much of what you would expect from a global city. So, apart from Rolex, clearly, I'm going to let you see whether the swatch here uh, has the Omega Moon swatch so that you don't waste your time. I'm just trying to help you guys out a bit. So, please drop a like and subscribe and comment if you find this to be helpful. So as I'm walking along, uh, you, you should see that there are a few retailers that are in the luxury retail space. Uh, one of which is Bulgari, which you already see creeping up on the screen. I own a Bulgari Octofinissimo Satin in Steel. Uh, I love that piece. It's my one of my most uh, versatile pieces that I wear. Really light, really thin compared to what I'm about to show you, which is uh, my new rose gold Daytona. Uh, so I previously owned a white gold, but I realized that um, I needed to switch things up a bit because I really wanted a rose gold watch for a while now. And so I went to my usual haunt and got the piece that I wanted. And uh, this is an amazing piece. I'm going to be wearing it about in Hong Kong. Uh, so stepping to Bulgari, staff was lovely. Uh, they do carry a few pieces of the Octo Fenissimo uh, for men and obviously the Octo Roma as well. I personally love the Octo Fenissimo. Uh, I featured it in my video uh, I think 10 months ago. So please you know, go to my channel and watch that video if you haven't caught that on why it's the, it's the classic piece of the future. Um, and I hope you love it as well. So Bulgari has a decent selection here. Uh, and so we're here at uh, one of the uh, shops with several that, that carry several brands. This is a shop where it has a swatch section. And uh, as you will see shortly, um, this swatch section here is quite small. Uh, it's not one of the few places in Singapore that you have the Omega Moon swatch. So um, unfortunately, I'll, I, if you guys are looking for that swatch, that moon swatch, uh, you won't find it in the airport. But obviously, they have a huge amount of other selections here. Uh, Tudor, uh, Seiko, 
So if you're into watch shopping for other uh, Swiss brands that are of a of the in, in the mid luxury tier, we have several choices for you here. That said, uh, you should stop by the Swatch store because they always have regional exclusives or, or, or country exclusives. And once in a while, Singapore does have a few fun pieces that are limited editions for the, for Singapore alone. So definitely do stop by if you're if you have a few minutes to kill. Why not, right? And obviously, Casio G-Shocks are uh, loving G-Shocks, man. Loving all the new lineups, but uh, uh, one has to prioritize <laughs> with one's spending, I suppose. So I haven't managed to get another G-Shock after the Casio Oak that I got in grey. But uh, we'll be coming back, I'm sure of it. So this is Changi Airport Tour. Um, I, I am taking a flight back to Hong Kong where I've been based so it's uh, set to leave Singapore sometimes uh, it really is uh, but you know the show must go on uh, back to my full-time job so I hope this video has been helpful please remember to like share and subscribe uh, if you like the video thank you all and don't forget to keep watching Jelly signing out